You think I don't appreciate a good deal when I see one? Camera two, zoom. What's up, little mama? I'm so drunk, honestly. <laughs> You're actually crying. It was right? a good. It's a good fish. <laughs> I know. At the beginning. Oh sure. Here I'll go. Welcome back to the Picky Boys podcast. Yeah. It was Joe Sanagato's 50th birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> we got pretty drunk. We got a little, a little wasty, wasty. Uh, Danny's coming in hot today. I'm coming in hot. How about you? How do you feel? I'm. I. I think I'm still drunk. I'm. I'm in it. I'm 24. I'm a spry young man. I don't have hangovers anymore. Well, oh, <laughs> I haven't had. I, I mean, you know, if this is this is a hangover, but you know, if you're 75 like Joe Santagato is, then, <laughs> then you're Jesus. it's gonna it's gonna feel much worse in the morning. Yeah, um, I I'm not at the point yet where oh, you know, like a lot of people in their I don't know 35 plus, like oh, I I'll have a hangover for three days if I have these two glasses of wine. So yeah, I don't get it. I used to have a. I, I used to hang out uh, with my boss, who's who's thirty five at the time. All right, and he said he said that anything over three drinks, he's done, is the same. So he used as he used that as an excuse to drink all the time, because he said like yeah. if if I have three drinks, the next morning is gonna be hell. So I might as well have forty. 300. That's like how, you know, you go away, you go away to prison for 25 years killing one person, might as well, you know, blow up a bus. If I'm in a life sentence, I'm going on a kill streak. You think I don't appreciate a good deal when I see one that exactly. I'm not going to kill exactly. five people for the make, same jail time? What are you going to give me another life sentence? Like yeah, oh yeah, give me four more. Bait, 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 bait. I also have another birthday party today. Oh, you're you're banging them out. Uh, birthday, birthday, birthday. What, 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 what's, what sign, what sign are we in? What does that mean? The fourth. It's, uh, like, what is, uh, what is, what is the the astrological sign of somebody in March fourth? How about you take it? To... March fourth? What the? Uh, it's not March fourth. Time flies. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> it's, 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 um, no, it's what, February twenty ninth. I don't know. Pisces. Uh, let's see. Take a guess. Pisces. Is it a Pisces? I don't know. I don't want to pretend like. What is Aquarius? Uh, so that's that sounds as... cool. I like I I don't believe in astrology. You like aquariums, but I love aquariums. Me too. Name five Pixar movies. Go. Up, Finding Nemo, Toy Story. Um, is it Finding the Nemo? Invincibles? No, Finding Nemo is Disney. No, it's not. It is. No, it is not. Yes, it is. Look it up. Okay. I bet you. I bet you five shots. Oh, that's a heavy. Right now on that's the a... podcast, I bet you five shots. Okay. And if you say Disney Pixar, I'm gonna fight you. Is Finding it's Nemo Pixar. a Disney movie? Yeah, it's on Disney Plus. That, that is not. This does not mean it's a Disney movie. Oh, it's a Pixar movie. No, it says. Uh, it, it no no. Is it a Pixar? It, 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 it says Walt Disney is Pictures. Is Finding Nemo a Pixar movie? It says Walt Disney. Uh, I'm gonna fight you right now. Hey, look at this. No, but it was released by Walt Disney Pictures. No, but that, but that, but that's because they bought Pixar. Uh, it is a Pixar movie. So, you so who's Daddy? Who's Daddy? Disney? No, 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 who's no, no, Daddy? No. Disney or Pixar? I, I literally just said this. No, 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 because you realize you were wrong halfway through. No, I did not. Finding Nemo is a Pixar movie. Why did Disney? Finding Nemo, 2009 American computer animated adventure film produced by Pixar Animation Studios. Production companies: Walt Disney Pictures, that's and then they Pixar own Animation them. is after that. It's a Pixar movie, bro. It's a Disney if, movie. If, you, if anybody says Finding Nemo is, Finding Nemo is a Disney movie... Is it on Pixar right Plus? Now. Is it on Pixar Plus? This is literally right before this. I said it, and Antonio has to take five shots. No, it's right not fair now. that... It's not fair that you right get... Right now. It's not fair that pay you get to... Pay me my money. If, pay me my money. It's Give not, me well, the shots. Well, there is no Give money. me the shots. But it's also not fair that you get to realize you're wrong right before you're about to finish your set and go, but if you say the, the correct thing, that's wrong. And no, then, and it's... Every, every, everybody knows Disney bought Pixar, and then at the and then it was like, is it a Disney movie or a Pixar movie? Everybody knows this, bro. I guess this is, it's obviously a Pixar movie. Obviously, I guess technically you owe me five shots, and I owe you five shots. No, I'm also right. You're not right. I'm also at all. Right. Actually, you're not right at all. I mean, that's not true. You're literally not right at all. Unbelievable. It is Disney not a movie. Disney movie. Anyway, the five ones were Up, Finding Nemo, Toy Story. Uh, uh, Luca. No, that's Disney. No, it's not. That's on Disney Plus. That doesn't mean it's a Disney <laughs> movie. 
That doesn't mean it's a Disney movie. I mean, is Avengers a Disney movie? No. It is? It's not. It is? No, it's not. It unbelievably is. Shook is Disney. This is just so dumb. It is a Disney movie. It's a dumb Wait, conversation. But what was the fifth one? Oh, quiet, because you, you can't handle an no, adult can, Disney conversation. Uh, fucking Inside Out. That's a Disney movie. No, it's not. <laughs> a lot of things are on Disney Plus. It doesn't make them a Disney movie. All right, name one thing. What? On Disney Plus, it's not a Disney movie. Finding Nemo. <laughs> This is so obvious. Very. It's not a Disney movie. If it has the fucking little lamp that jumps on the eye, it's not a Disney movie. No, but also the Disney castle appears in the beginning no. also. No, it doesn't. I'm, I'm finding Nemo. Uh, if we watch Disney Plus, I'm pretty sure it does. No, it doesn't. Little oh Tinkerbell God. goes right over the castle. Bro, <laughs> you, you're so you're <laughs> so wrong. And everybody in the comments is going to say, hey, Antonio, you're a fucking loser. I think if you, if you think that finding Nemo is a Pixar, what about Toy Story? No, that's Pixar. Uh, but when Toy Story four, it was produced. That's by Disney. Disney. That's a Disney movie. Yeah. Oh, that's that's a Disney. That's movie. a Disney movie. Of course. I think people in the comments are gonna right now type uh, Antonio is Antonio's, technically Antonio's correct. Antonio's wrong. Whatever. You know what happened to me at the the bar yesterday? Mm. I, I was first of all, I was getting picked on the whole night by a bunch of people. But the the DJ did something that I've never a DJ has never done to me before. What do you do? He, uh, I, you know, what does DJ stand for? Digital Joker, digital jester. Dig I'll, I'll, I'll tell you this much: it's before D DJ. The term DJ is before digital has anything to do with it. Okay, directing. No. Deeply. No. I'll even give you the first word. It's disc. Disc jockey. Yes, it's exactly what it is. Ride that disc, baby. Yeah, like a little horse. Also, disc jockey. I would think it's a. It's a disc jockey. It's like, like the like the so so anyway like a little horse. Either way, Joe wanted more hip hop, and there was not that we were like it was three thirty, and we were the only ones left in the bar essentially. Mm. And this guy was playing music that didn't have words; it was just a bunch of sounds. So I went up to him as politely as I think I possibly could. I asked this DJ, I said, "Hey, can you um play more hip hop, or are you gonna play more hip hop?" And he said, with the biggest smile on his face, "I will never play more hip hop tonight, and please get out of my face." Whoa. Yeah, and he said, "Please get out of my face," and I went, "Oh, oh." oh. Okay. Okay. That's really rude. I was like, okay, and like, but like with a smile while he was moving around, I went, I'm very confused on how to emote here. Are you I, also dancing? No, I mean, no. I I was more just. I I definitely looked so dumb because I was like, excuse me, you know, I was like a little child asking a waiter for uh, an Listen, extra spoon. Yeah. No. I mean, and, and and that's a very vague request. Like the thing about the thing about DJs is, I would hate to be a DJ because someone. You know, you're, you're 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 playing music that the entire bar vibes to, mm -hmm. and then someone says, uh, "Can you play Firework by Katy Perry?" Yeah. And it's like, it doesn't fit into the ambiance that I'm trying, the, the mood that I'm trying to create. But you gave him a genre, so, so much, so much room. Yeah, I, I mean, hip. Yeah. You you can easily, especially with the music he was playing. He was playing like '70s disco. Yeah. You could easily kind of incorporate hip hop into that vibe, and he did play hip hop. Before, before, and, it's, and we just wanted it back. At least uh, throwing it in there. It's not like I went up to him. It's like, can you play Starships by Nicki Minaj? You know, it's like I didn't do anything Great that song, bad. It is, it slaps. Sing the first line. Go. Let's go to the beach. Each, let's go get away. Hey, hey, what they're gonna say? Have a drink, clink, shout the Bud Light. Damn, that was a lot. That was a lot more than yeah. what I said. Yeah. So I mean, you know, I get, <laughs> I, I, I get it. I get it. I didn't request, you know, I don't know, DMX and or. Ignition Remix or what's wrong something. With DMX? I don't know. And what's wrong with Ignition Remix? Well, you know, R. Kelly people. You have to separate the art from the <laughs> artist. <laughs> people aren't aren't too fond of R. Kelly. He may the piss moment. on little girls. But he makes great music. But he makes good music. I mean, he makes uh, it's he makes good. that one good song yeah, actually. Yeah. I and Strapped in the Closet is a masterpiece. Strapped in the Closet. Strap. Well, he was Strapped in the Closet. But it, but I think it's Trapped in the Closet. Yeah, I said Strapped. I uh, Strapped. Yeah. Eh. The replay. Either way. <laughs> either way. Yeah. I mean, I think, I don't know. If I was a DJ, I'd feel like, yeah, maybe. And sure. And just not play it, you know? Yeah. Like, that, I feel like that's fine. That's what I would do. My, my my DJ name would be DJ No Requests. That is a perfect, that is a perfect name. Hell yeah. Also, you know, you don't know who I am. What if I just took my can and chucked it at you? Is that, was, do we want to ruin all this equipment? You're I, not catching me. I think he was asking for some fucking moolah. No, if he said, oh, I mean, I could. And then he was waiting for me to respond. I'd be like, "What is it going to take?" And he then, you starts know, winking, and, th and then I start moving. It's like, and he's like, "The glory hole." By the way, the can you wink? Yeah, I can wink. Great. Did it. Did it twice. Other side. Watch this. Hey, what's up? Oh, that was a bad one. All right, I, I need you to give me a. Hey, what's up, babe? Wink right at the camera. Hey, what's up, babe? <laughs>
<laughs> no, you can do it. Come on. I'm zoom in. I'm going to zoom in right here. Ready? Camera two. Zoom. What's up, little mama? <laughs> if that didn't make people swoon, I don't know what will. You're so hot, I'd fuck your dad. Honestly, the line, that was a great wink. <laughs> it was a great wink. It might have sealed the deal alone. Why? Have you had problems winking? I know a lot of people can't wink. No, I can't wink. I mean, I feel like you I mean, not really. Like, I can't wink. I, if, if you have to do, if, if all of the face muscles in your face contract to wink, like, it's not a wink, you know? It's not smooth. No, it's not smooth at all. Oh, I used to be able to lift both eyebrows, but I can only really do the right I also, I've never, I've also never understood the biting of the lip. You ever see a picture of a fuck boy, like, biting a lip? Like, <laughs> doesn't, I feel like my, I, I, I've, I've looked in the, I've literally taken pictures of myself biting my lip. I'm like, <laughs> I'm going to look hot. And it's just like, it looks like I'm, like. Looks like you're eating it. Uh. <laughs> hey. And then you wink. I think, am I biting too low? Should I just be like. I don't know. Why don't you take a class? Also, why is the biting of a lip hot? I don't know. Because it's like like a, mm, you know, like a, mm. Like it's like a, mm, mm. fuck. <laughs> I, I guess. <laughs> I, I literally couldn't tell you the slightest idea what that means. Yeah, me neither, honestly. But the- I'm. As the the podcast progresses, I'm I feel like I'm getting more and more of a headache. Oh really? I I, I thought you were gonna say you're getting more drunker. That's why I'm continuing. I mean, I'm getting a little bit drunker. The, the hair of the dog is a real thing. I love brunch. I I love hair of the dog. Mm-hmm. I think it's great. Mm-hmm. I love a Bloody Mary. Mm-hmm. I, I I think I'm the biggest Bloody Mary fan in the Northeast. Oh, all right. I really do all think right. so. I'll give it to you. Yeah, that's a lot of tomatoes. No, if you were, I feel like. I feel like the bare minimum for someone who's the biggest Bloody Mary lover in the Northeast, you have to be able, you have to be growing tomatoes. At the bare minimum, I think I you mean, need to be growing tomatoes. I mean, I know tomatoes are an integral part of Bloody Marys, but it's so much more than just tomatoes. It's spices. Okay, what would Bloody you... Bloody Mary mix? It's spices. It's worse to sheer. I don't think hair of the dog actually does work. I oh, th- it definitely. Works. No, I think it's like you know when you have to take a shit, uh-huh. and you 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 kind of hold it in, and you know. You know, for this probably 20 minutes, it's gone. But I know it's going to come back twice as hard. Mm-hmm. I I've, think that's what Hair of the Dog does. It's like you're going to have a hangover, but you're just pushing it off, pushing it off, and now you're going to have a really oh, of bad course. one. Of course, that's yeah. what it is. But it does, my health teacher, and literally in high school, my health teacher said. Was our principal. The, the hangover was our principal as well. Our hang, a hangover cure does not exist. Coffee, uh, uh, a Pedialyte, uh, extra water, you know, grass. bacon, egg, and cheese. Everybody has their own hangover cures, you know, uh, wives, old wives' tales. But it, he said the only thing to stop a hangover is more alcohol. And he said, <laughs> I was going to And he said, of course, you're just delaying the inevitable, mm-hmm. but it is the only thing that stops a hangover. And I agree with him. And, tech- and it's true. And by the way, when he said it, he meant he, he meant the only way to stop a hangover is more alcohol and you'll eventually become an alcoholic. Essentially you're gonna pay you're gonna pay with your with the way you feel every time and drinking alcohol is not worth it. But what we got from that is Keep drinking. The only way to stop a hangover is on Bloody Mary in the morning. Do you think anybody be able to tell that you're drunk? Like do you do you have drunk? Right te- now? Yeah, well, yeah, probably. Well, yeah, right now definitely. I'm saying like do you have a a a super super clear drunk tell? Do you know? Well, especially with the, with the the fucking botched up haircut you gave me yesterday, I, okay. I do this a lot. With my hair's, hair, hair's fine. I do this a lot. I rub my I rub my hand through my hair, and then that fucks it up. And that's your drunk tell. Yeah. Because when you're drunk, oh my, 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 my it, the, the the higher my hair is, the drunker I am because I'm running my hand through my head a lot. Yeah, because there there are some people. It's like if they're wearing a button down, every button that becomes open is their level of drunkness. I know that's a that's a lot of people do. What that. is your drunk tell? I don't know. I I think I just like I sit down more. I just sit. I don't want to move, because I don't get to the I don't get to the oh I'm gonna piss myself or throw up. My body just. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what shuts down. Yeah, it does. It does shut down. Antonio is one of those people where he can be two drinks in and twenty drinks in, and it's very hard to tell the difference. Really, it's pretty incredible, honestly. But the one thing that you do is that, and and how I know you're drunk, is that you'll say 
you'll say something. You'll, you'll, you'll say this one phrase a lot, and, and you'll just go, you, you'll usually end the sentence with it. So, you know, we're, we're just talking. You're saying, oh. The squirrel. You're, you're, yeah, you're saying this, the, the, the squirrel loves nuts. So, woo <laughs> That's That's what you, he does what he does. That's his, dude, his drunk tell is he just goes, every other sentence, goes, <laughs> well, I'm just, I'm just like a little garden gnome humming yeah, to himself. A little garden gnome. It's like, do you need another drink, Antonio? He's like, yeah, I'll take a rum and cook. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's what he does. It's, it's, it is your drunk tell. That's what you do. Oh my God. I didn't... And, and, and sometimes it changes. You know, sometimes it's like, <laughs> so fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh you know, fuck! It's, uh, that, uh, but that's what it is. That's oh, your drunk tone. Oh, that was an immediate cry. <laughs> this is one of those immediate cries where you push all the juice to the front of your body. Mm-hmm. You know, tears are so weird, right? Um, <laughs> <laughs> like your tear, like so you have a tear duct, if I'm correct. Okay, right? yeah, the, all the middle. And is there a wh- first of all? Is what is a tear? What is it the, made of? You know, like it's just water in your body. S- sal- and saline. Are, are, are you, do your tear ducts? Are, are they like a, a reservoir? Do they fill? There's hmm. so many things about the human body I don't understand. I mean, there's a lot of people that said, I can't even cry anymore. I have no tears left. No tears left to cry. No tears left to cry. Jeremy. And yeah. So people, maybe. Some people are, are, are more criers than others. I know somebody who, if he goes to a funeral, not a funeral of somebody he knows, anybody's funeral whatsoever. Crying. Crying. Like literally bawling, B- bawling. Like he's he's just he's just he's just sad at the prospect of death. What are those people called? Empaths. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Am I wrong? No, it is. It's empath. No, I mean, right. but like, there, isn't there like an extreme one where they could like like something like that? Like, I don't think I could walk into a random funeral and just feel the sadness and the what well, you feel that, but enough for me to just start crying. True. I mean, I don't do that either. I also know one 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 of, one of my mom's best friends. She would cry every time. Amazing Grace came on. That's just her song. Like that's just her song. Oh, what 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 one one time my mom and her went on a cruise, and and for some reason every day at the beginning of the cruise they played Amazing, they played Grace. Amazing Grace and she cried every time. <laughs> Dude, about a whole vacation where you start your day with crying, it can only go on from there, I guess. But crying isn't a bad thing. No, let's 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 lay this out on the table right now. Oh, here we go. I feel like as men, we've been told not to cry. I don't... Cry. Yeah. Fucking, sometimes you need a good cry. Yeah, just cry. Dad. I mean, Antonio cries all the time. I do cry all the time. And, 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 and crying isn't always bad, you know? Like, probably, I, 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 I'm lucky enough that in my life, the most I've cried has been from laughing, which is, which is I think, the benchmark of a very... Good life. Yeah, you're very, very blessed. So blessed. I'm so hashtag blessed. Hashtag bro. blessed. If you had a bucket of tears from every time you laughed and every time you cried, oh, the scale my, would be tipped. My laugh bucket would be so much higher. Laugh, cry, swimming pools of laughter. Cry, swimming pools of laughter. And if you're sad, cry it out. Sometimes crying helps. It's a human. I don't know if it's an emotion. It's not an emotion. It's, re- it's a human reaction. Definitely a human reaction. It's a human reaction. Cry your, cry your eyes out. Did you know? I know this tear fact that happy tears, sad tears, grief tears, and guilt tears all have different shapes, like snowflakes. Is he lying to me? <laughs> I, I swear to God. Somebody fact check. Pause I, this video I, right now. I, and fact check. I, this. I swear to God. I don't want to look like an idiot. I swear to God. Isn't that crazy? We can cry. Is it, are, you, are you serious? I swear to God. Like I think that's incredible. I think sad tears are look like under a microscope are more square. It's very, it's very mm. confusing. See, I would, I, I would. I would correlate the shape of sadness more hectagonal. Oh man, hectagonal. Or maybe, yeah. He- how many he- sides a hectagon have? <laughs> Come on, it's very sad. <laughs> the- a hectagon is a sad shape. It's a or, very or, or maybe rhombus. Very sad shape. I could see. By rom- the way, love that word. Rhomboidius. Rhomboidius. I don't know if that was a real word. <laughs> so what? Happy? What more circle or a star? Yeah. I. Uh, oh, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> happy should be a star. It should be a twinkle in your eye. You know. Yeah. Yeah. What about um guilt? Also, is every snowflake different? Is that true? That's true. Is it? I think so. Have you Have you ever seen like a fucking 
a fat snowflake like it landed in your and you can literally see it like with your eye you can see the shape of it it's pretty incredible i mean yeah kind of not sometimes they just look like huge feathers honestly coming down when but they're some, really but, and sometimes they're super small and you know under a microscope they look very different yeah. but 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 like have you ever seen like like, like there, there, there was one time I felt like I was in a, a Pixar slash Disney movie. There you go. And they and, and a snowflake landed right on my palm, and it was like, it looks like it looked like the paper, you know, it looked like it looked like the things you cut out. It, it like it looked like a snowflake, and I could see it. I was like, wow. And you cried. This is incredible. Oh, of course, I cried. Of course, I cried. I cried. Rhomboidious tears. <laughs> Rhomboidious tears of peril. No, I, I, I cried. Star tears. Star tears. They're probably circle. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh nose what do you what, what what do you think is the saddest color um gray gray i guess one. i don't think black no even though black it, either. it's also, per- not technically a color oh well here we go oh, sorry <laughs> but uh I'm pr- it's, a tr- it's, it's definitely color. attributed most to sadness right because funerals all black i honestly side note i don't remember the last time i actually wore black to a funeral I always wear black for funeral. No, I'm saying like I go, I go black on black on black, black shirt, black jacket, black tie. I'm not saying that I'm I'm going wearing my rainbow jacket and tie dye boots. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I, I don't unless it's your relative. I don't remember the last time I was in black, black, black. And when I've gone, I've gone to a funeral recently. Not a lot of people. It's like jeans. It's a shirt. I, sometimes I wear something that would try to emulate that. Em- I'm trying emulate. Like the per- the person who I thought it was, you know, the person like what the I, fuck I tried does to that mean? Not who I thought it was, the person <laughs> like I've tried to emulate like something that they would like. Let's say, yeah, Danny's gonna like, come like, in like when skin I went suit. to my like when to, when I went to my grandpa's funeral, I wore like a like a very like like emerald green Irish because he's from Ireland, like an Irish tie, and you know something that he would like, you know. He's not seeing it. That's besides the point. It's 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 a ce- a funeral is a celebration of life. I swear to God, I'm I'm putting this on oh I'm, I'm putting this on video oh God. video. I'm, so, I'm drunk, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting, I'm putting, really? I'm putting this on video right now. When I die in two and a half months, please. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> what the hell? All right. Uh, <laughs> he goes sorry. <laughs> uh, please, please don't be sad. I mean, you you can be sad. I'm not gonna tell you not to be sad, but can we not have the the, the old drab funeral or the old you know? Oh, 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 I'm so like, can you please just like take all the money that it would take for a normal wake and go to Six Flags or Laser Tag for God's sakes? Celebrate life, celebrate the life, you know. So you, if when you die, it's like, it's like that quote. I I love that quote. Don't be sad that it's over. Be happy that it happened or something like that. Yeah, stupid quote. I love that quote. Stupid quote. Like, you're such a it's, fucking it's, asshole. It's just as dumb a quote as, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. Dumb quote. It is about the journey. It's a dumb it's quote. It's about the journey. It's dumb quote. Yes, if the, unless the destination is, you know, the coffin, fine. It's about the journey. That's but, what the... De- that's- eh, not really. It's about, like, you know, success and accomplishments and, you know, eh, it's dumb. Whoever says it's about the journey, not the destination, never made it to the destination. That's just not true. I swear to God. That's not true. Swear to God, it's not true at all. And, and the point is, celebrate, celebrate my life. Don't be sad. It was. Don't be sad. It's over. That's. I mean, that's true. We should. We should celebrate all your accomplishments. I you know. I. You know. Be. Be happy. That's what I would want you to do. Circle. Square. Are you gonna start crying? I might start. Crying. <laughs> are you gonna start crying right now? <laughs> For God's sake, just celebrate the life. <laughs> celebrate me. Celebrate life. Come on, it's it's fun. <laughs> okay, we need. You need to relax. It is fun. You know what? I, I'll pro- how about I'll, I'll get you a marble statue of you and I'll put you right here. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. You like that? Should I hit a little button that makes you fart? What if you should just stuff me? Oh, okay. Like I'd go to a taxidermist. Can you get me stuff? Can you taxiderm uh, a corpse? It depends on the country. I think. <laughs> what country do we have to move to? I don't know. But 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 I mean Thailand. I, first of all, taxidermy in general. Unless you, unless you killed it, it's very weird. I, like if you taxidermy your dog, yeah, very. weird. Or what about just be, That's very weird? What about being a taxidermist? That you're probably grandfathered. But in I'm not. A, right? But I'm not a pet guy. You know. That's true. Have you ever had a pet? I've never owned a pet, but my family has. That's 
I'm, I'm not saying have you personally owned the pet. I mean, that was when, word when, for word when, what you when, asked When you me. were a kid, did you have a pet? I mean, my f yeah. What, what what was the pet? It was a dog. You had a dog? Yeah, I had a dog, little Mikey, like a angel. Little Mikey, Michelangelo, what like kind of Ninja Turtle. Dog was it? Little Pomsky. A Pomsky? Yeah, a little tiny. It's little a very pom good dog. It was very good dog. It's very a cute dog. No, it's a Pomsky. A pom Pomeranian. No, pom husky. No, no, it, 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 it looked is. like Logan Paul's dog. Sorry. That's just a Pomeranian. Pomeranian. It was Pomeranian. It was a little Pomeranian. Really? Yeah. Was it? When was this? Oh, this was wrong. Are you really young. Yeah. Like, was it just you and your sister? Oh yeah, my my brother's not even a concept. I don't even think it was. I don't even think they were loaded in the chamber. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, no way. Yeah, really. When you when you think about life like that, it really does make you think. You know, it's like this billion sperm. Okay. <laughs> and you guys. And you end. did it. You and, did it. And and I. It's the only race I've ever won. The only race I've ever won. And maybe, maybe you found a shortcut. You went, I'm not going to tell these fuckers. And I didn't get a dog. <laughs> and I didn't get a fucking I've dog. I've had two beta fish, Swimmy and Joey. Joey died immediately. <laughs> not, no, not only did he die, he killed himself. You were, must have been a great owner. No, <laughs> don't put this on me. I've had enough, <laughs> I had enough childhood trauma. Because <laughs> I, I had, basically, so we went to my cousin's wedding. And uh, the 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 centerpiece was was a was a beta a, fish a, a beta fish, and underneath each coaster, there was a uh, there was a red circle or you have a star, and the person with the star was able to take home the beta fish. Great wedding idea, by the way. Yeah. And I mean, how are you put the burden so, of this and fish so, on and people? So, and so I won I won one, and my grandma and the other table won another, and we both had them, and and then they were they were in my grandma's kitchen. Little did we know, they were in two different tanks. I mean, we obviously we knew beta fish can't be in the same tank. They They're will very, fight. They, they, will they, fight. They, will, they, they won't fight. They'll kill each other. Okay. The, it's not a karate they, tournament. They, it's they a battle to the death. No, I'm sorry. It is, a, it, is a, it is a gruesome battle to the death. Yeah. But little did we know, we had them in two glass jugs, which was the centerpiece, and, <laughs> and, and next to each other, and they could see each other. Okay. Vision. And Joey jumped, at, leaped out of the glass in an attempt to murder the other dumb fish's name. I don't know what he was. Swimmy? No, no, that, that wasn't Swimmy. But, oh, but I'm sorry. That was, a, that was my grandma's fish. Who knows, who knows his fate? J but Jerome? But, but he, Joey leaped out of the tank in a suicide mission to try to kill him and landed on the floor. And then little old me... Went to go fucking, you know, I don't know, get some Entenmann's cake or some bullshit. And I, and, 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 and I, and I, we're, we're not Italian. And, 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 I, and I went into the kitchen and, and Joey is just dead on the floor. Joey! Joey! I was so sad. Oh, that was a, that was a rhombus cry. That was a rhombus Unbelievably. cry. Th that must have been. That was a hexagonal tears. That I, I, I cried so much. That's definitely then, traumatizing for a little. And then, and, and then, like I don't know, probably a year later after I had gotten over the traumas, we 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 got Swimmy, not the most creative name, but uh, we had Swimmy, and Swimmy lasted for like six years. That's too long. It was it, he, Swimmy was my best friend, and many times I thought he was dead. I'd be tapping on the tank, and he just wasn't moving, and then and then eventually you go. You go <laughs> no, maybe he's like, oh god, he's, he's back, he's back. He keeps tapping. Yeah. So. You know, that's the story. And Swimmy, I actually buried him in my front yard. You buried a fish. Mm -hmm. I took one of my mom's jewelry boxes and made it into a coffin. Didn't take out any of the jewelry, so let's go find his and uh, I, front and I, and, I, and I buried it in the ground. And that was the only two pets I've ever had. Yeah, we just we put Mikey down. Oh. And then... Cheery. And then... Uh, Why? Would he have got coma or something? Yeah, something... I don't know, cancer in the bones or some shit. Uh, Who knows? Bone cancer. That's a rough one. Yeah, not great. And my dad had to do it, actually. <clears throat> Put him down. He just took a shovel. Oh, what? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, my God. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's no, it's illegal. No, it's like a, it was a dog. You know, the dog's old. Put it out of his misery. Uh -huh. There you go. I didn't bury it in the front yard. I, wouldn't, I also wouldn't bury a fish. Why? I don't know. Don't you flush fish? What a... What a, what a Terrible memorial. We, we, Why, it's we, like a little thing. You, the flush, you could see it spiral down. I was a very, I was a very, um, you know, as, as a kid, I was very extra. Like I did a lot of, 
you know, I guess it's an adult too. But I, but I we, we I didn't just you definitely calm down now. I didn't just bury Swimmy. I had, as I mentioned, a celebration of life. I had a funeral service. It was me, my mama, and my dad. But I but we but we all we all took turns standing up, saying what he if he was with the, in our lives for six years. Oh man, it's an important fish. Oh man. Do you remember what you said? Yeah. What'd you say? I said, Swimmy, you were a great friend to me. I'm going to cry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you were a great friend to me. Yeah, you were always there. <laughs> uh, he's just, you know. He, you're getting, you're actually a, getting to a good, a good life. What the fuck? We, it was a good fish. Let's end the podcast. <laughs> you're actually crying. It was right? a good, it was a good fish. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. actually crying. I am crying. How long ago did this fish die? It was like, I don't know, five, ten years ago now. <laughs> That's a good fish. He was in my life for six years. <laughs> when I was a child. <laughs> He's a good little fish. <laughs> I have another I mean, pet. I don't mean to laugh. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> where, can, where can they find you? They can find me at Aunt Prisco. Where can they find you? You can find me at there. He's watching on Instagram. Oh, fuck. I'm crying. Okay, um... Follow the Picky Boys podcast. Guys. Like, share, subscribe, share with the aunts and uncles, oh. and love the people in your life. <laughs> you don't get and the pets. <laughs> Where else do you get content like this? I don't. I've never seen this before. And happy 80th birthday to Joe Senegato. Yeah, we'll see you at the next one. What 90?